The kids say that uh, every time we see a carton outside, that's dad. It's a small reminder. Family was very important to him. Of a father's love. He left H-E-B and, uh, you know, everybody started getting here and... Uh, Florence Casas lost her husband to a drunk driver back in 2011 on Labor Day weekend. It was a green car, I don't know, it was just a green car, and I'm like, well, Rick's in a green car. Rick was just about to turn into his subdivision when the accident happened. It was a Sunday around 5 o'clock when investigators say a drunk driver ran through this light and hit him. He was working in the oil field somewhere in Kennedy. It was Arturo Noriega's fourth DWI arrest. There's a feeling that I can't explain, the shame. And knowing that I took one of God's children. During the trial, what he said was going on at his crew quarters was alarming. He said that he was drinking and there was a lot of beer in the, in the refrigerator there and that he had a couple of lines of cocaine and it was normal. We rode along with state troopers on the same highway where Rick was killed. There's my drunk. Around 1 a.m. on a Saturday morning, we caught an oil field worker on his way home from a bar. How much you had to drink tonight? I drank a few beers. How many is a few? Probably about four or five. The suspect said he had just moved to the area, and when the trooper asked him to blow... Take a deep breath and blow into the mouth. Please. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, you want to take me in for DWI? I got a CDL. You I'm going to lose my license. So you're on arrest for DWI, okay? He checked a point one five. Almost double the legal limit. Since the oil field uh, boom started here in Carnes County, you know we've seen an increase on DWIs here on this. Side. The problem for Sheriff Dwayne Villanueva. And then we have four, and then two singles on the other side. So this is it. This is it. He's running out of room to house DWI offenders. There's only 12 cells, but now Carnes County is making a new investment in a jail four times bigger. We have more room uh, getting this facility, what prepares better for the increase of, uh, you know, the bookends and increases. I just think that, you know, they have more awareness to let them know that this is not right. Noriega was the first repeat drunk driver in Bear County to receive a life sentence for murder for killing Rick. And tell me what... Back at home... This is actually my husband's last work schedule before he died. The week. His two children insisted some things be left the same. He worked two jobs, so in order for, to know where he was at, he'd write it every week, he'd write the schedule on the refrigerator so the kids would know where he was at. There are moments. His presence and his smile. And when the whole world seems empty. It's just sad because my husband lost his dad to a drunk driver. So that's what hurts the most. <laughs> Dad's looking, dad's taking care of But this family. widow hopes her story will be a wake-up call. Yeah, I know people want to go work the oil field because it's a lot of money, and it's good money, it's good money. But look at the danger that the society is. A danger she's reminded of every time she looks at that little red bird. The number of DWI arrests on the Eagle Ford Shale is actually down. Troopers credit their enforcement efforts and oil field companies who are now doing more education with employees. Grace White, Fox News at 9.